Um, so we all know now who Oliver Anthony is. Uh, we've uh, we've seen uh, you. I'm sure you've all seen the video of his song uh, "Rich Man North of Richmond." We've discussed it on the show. It was uh, played uh, during the Republican uh, the Republican debate. Uh, and and what is uh, you know and it's it the song itself became this anthem for uh, for kind of right wing. Uh, YouTube show hosts or podcasters and so on. And yet Oliver Anthony himself uh, is, uh, is trying to run away from that image and run away from that uh, completely. So uh, uh, really interesting. I mean, uh, from everything I've read about him, he is a, a prime candidate for a, kind of a death of, or was before this has made him, you know, incredibly successful. He was a prime candidate for kind of a, a death of despair, Indeed, he's been, um, he, he claims, he's in his 30s, he claims he's, he's been experiencing brain fog and getting chest pains. And the reason he uploaded uh, all these songs onto the internet, not this latest song, but the reason he, he started uploading songs that he had written up on the internet is, I mean, I'll, I'll just quote him directly. Uh, quote, I was feeling like my body was starting to fall apart. And it got to the point where I was questioning how much longer I'd be able to be around and sing these songs and do this stuff. So I was like, well, let me just go ahead and start getting everything uploaded. So at least if, God forbid, I die of a heart attack in my 30s, there's some legacy there. Anyway, it, 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 so this is a guy who was seriously depressed, suffering from serious anxiety, which was having manifesting itself in serious health problems. Uh, he, he uh, you know, it had been doing a, a bunch of different manufacturing jobs in the Carolinas and Virginia and different places. He had managed to save up some money and take some loans and buy some land in Virginia. He was also living out of a camper that, I don't know, cost him something like, I can't remember, I read this, 49 bucks or something ridiculous like that. Uh, uh, and um, uh, what happened here? All right. Uh, and... You know, he, he's not political, certainly not right-wing, certainly didn't intend this to become a right-wing uh, thing. I told you all along that this was more left than right. He's just disgruntled, disgruntled with his own life, disgruntled with the state of politics. He, he actually claimed that he was upset that the, songs were, the song was being used uh, at the Republican, uh, Republican debate because it was about the people up on stage. It was about Republicans. He was... He was against them. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, this is a, a, on another, there was another one, another um, interview where he did. And where this is right after the song became popular and he was on Fox News and he says, quote, we are the melting pot of the world, right? And that's what makes us strong, our diversity. And we need to learn to harness that and appreciate it and not use it as a political tool to keep everyone separate from it. So here's the, um, the poster boy of, uh, you know, the, the far right anthem calling for diversity. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's nothing right. Uh, I mean, there is in, in the sense of the modern right wing, but there's nothing, there's nothing to... There's nothing to embrace in this song. There's nothing positive about this song. Uh, and, and, you know, Oliver Anthony is is a confused... Uh, he doesn't have a particular... He's not a far-right guy. He's probably not a far-left guy. He's just pissed off, and he's upset, and he's upset at rich men. He's upset at politicians. He's upset at the working conditions. He's upset at wages. He's upset about his own life. Um, and, and it to turn this into a, a rallying cry, pretty sad, of the right. Anyway, it turns out he's, a, he's kind of a, one of these characters that you, you feel a little sorry for him, that his life has turned out this way. Um, but uh, there's, no, there's no political agenda you get from once you read interviews with him. I mean, he's not, and, and he's not the poster child. Uh, intentionally, at least, he's not in intending to be the poster child for right-wing politics um, on many issues, it seems, quite the contrary.